This week on Fail Kitchen, we'll be attempting Pillsbury s'more rolls. We are making today um, s'more pizza roll-ups, um, which seem a little complicated for what they should be. Like, I gotta use oatmeal and fluff and brown sugar and graham cracker crumbs. Like, I had to buy stuff for this recipe, and it's a Pillsbury recipe, so, you know, I just didn't want to buy stuff for it. But I did, and we're going to do it. Um... First step is to preheat the oven to 400 degrees, so that's easy enough. Then we're going to unroll the crust onto a cookie sheet and bake it for eight minutes. Okay. Do you think I should aluminum foil this guy? Yeah, I think I should. Just in case. And if it doesn't work, I'll take the aluminum foil off. Wait. Is there a Best Buy date on this? We're totally good. Totally good. May. Excellent. Whoa. Well, okay then. That was easy. Excellent. Dude, seriously. Like Paula Deen over here. Yeah, maybe the aluminum foil wasn't a great idea. Yeah. I'm sure this will result in very even... Pizza crust dough stuff. Okay, bake it for eight minutes. Think that my oven is preheated? I don't think it is. But we're still gonna put it in there. Stir together graham cracker crumbs, oats, brown sugar, and butter. Okay, so I have to melt the butter first. That first I just bought a, like three packages of graham crackers and I was gonna smash them to make crumbs because I couldn't find graham cracker crumbs. Uh, and then I found the crumbs and I was like, huh, thank God I don't have to smash graham crackers. Yeah, too much. This is very nice. This is good. This is gonna be great, guys. Nothing bad can happen here. Oh! I called it. I even called it. All right. At least I have a half a cup now. Oats. I had to go and buy quick cooking oats because I have regular old-fashioned ones, and I wasn't sure. I actually have no idea what the difference is. I'd like none. So, like, if they tell me to get a different kind, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that to be on the safe side. Look what I bought, Fail Kitchen. I have a quarter and a half a cup. Again, what is with pouring stuff into tinier stuff in this recipe? Pouring is not really my forte. Why is brown sugar such a pain in the ass? Like, why? What is, what are you? It's like fluffy and then it sinks and it's like half wet, half dry. This, it has an identity crisis. Come out of this bag, but don't come out all at once. Why is this such an epic struggle? Fine, that took way too long for a quarter of a cup of sugar. Oh, shoot. Guys, has it been eight minutes? Okay, so I cooled the dough that I had Bake for eight minutes. And now I have to spread four tablespoons of marshmallow cream in a thin layer over the crust and then put the other three tablespoons at the short ends of the crust. This is disgusting. And I don't think I have enough marshmallow cream left. It's a huge tub, but like, I, you know, I eat this because it's delicious. So I eat it. I really don't like working with fluff as an ingredient. It's sticky and hard to spread. It's like you've got the cheese too. I don't like working with it. Sprinkle some mixture evenly over marshmallow. Well, that's not evenly, is it? That's like one pile. Come on, Darlena. Get it together. Sprinkle chips over that. Start with the thick edge of the marshmallow side and roll up. And then I'm going to need a loaf pan. And this isn't going to fit in a loaf pan. Let's just roll this up. That'll be super easy, like really easy. It'll be really easy to roll this up. And nothing, oh my god, this is going to make such a huge mess, guys. I can't do this here. Where can I do this? What should I do? And you do it like in the sink. Let's put them in here and hope that the cookie sheet contains the god-awful mess this is about to become. Stop 
falling off of the bread. Come on. Do your job. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. This was an excellent idea. Um, totally, totally fantastic idea. Okay, you know, obviously nothing is falling out of here or anything, and it's not going to fit in my loaf pan. Like, it's not going to fit in there. But I'm going to make it fit. That's what I do. So here, I'm sure that's a great idea. Bake it for eight more minutes. Okay, so I'm already a couple minutes late to take this out, I think. But I had to show I have to show you this first. Does this happen to you guys? Do you see what I just did there? I do this all the time. I melted I melted my butter because my stove was on. And now it's a mess. Oh. Fantastic. Alright, let's take this out. See how burned I burned it. Ow! Still burn myself. Managed to still burn myself with two minutes. Ta-da! That is glorious. Look at that chip fall in slow motion. Boom. I feel like the chips were supposed to be melted. What do you think? Mmm. Huh? Just like the picture. It tastes like fluff. Graham cracker crumbs oatmeal, and chocolate chips, which I guess would be the point, huh? And it does not look great. S'more roll. Nailed it.